for this one. It's uh, another groove. It's from the song Georgi Porgi and played by Jeff Porcaro, who passed a couple of years back, which is very sad for the drumming community because he was a groove monster. He's on so many records uh, that everybody knows. Um, I should put a list underneath the video. I might do that. Just a rough discography of Jeff Porcaro for those of you who haven't heard him. Uh, band was Toto, the groove, uh, Jeff Porcaro, and Georgi Porgi is the track. Uh, let me just real quick adjust this kick because it's sounding boomy. And I'm on it. That's more like Jeff Porcaro would have sounded, I guess, I don't know, on this record anyways. So it's, it's a very simple groove. It's a four bar loop. And not to be mistaken, you should check out, as always, the original and uh, just know that he changes stuff around um, with a bass drum. The, the fill, even, he changes some stuff around with the fill. So I decided to just have a basic uh, groove that kind of fits. It's like a symbiosis of, of all he does, or like the, the, the common denominator, if you so wish. Uh, so every four bars, he does this little which is a trademark uh, Jeff Bocaro fill, by the way, or was. And in the fourth bar also, the bass drum pattern changes. I'm going to do it really slow now, again. This tempo was... This tempo was 100, sorry, blank there. And I'm going to be down to 45 beats per minute now. Just repeat the groove what I just did. One, and two, and three, and four. I think you have already found your way around this. It's really simple. It's 16th notes in the hi-hat, which at this tempo starts to feel comfortable. And that's basically the, the, the great challenge because I like the song a lot and the bass line that goes with that kick drum line and all that. And the song itself, it's really, it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite pop songs, I think. It was fun and challenging to, to try to get up to 100 beats per minute and play 16s really consistent with one hand so of course we all have that challenge playing something whatever it is 16 uh, 16 or triplets fast and consistent but the motivation for me was i liked that song so i i wanted to play it you know it was it was propelling to try to get there and i know i i was stuck at about 88 beats per minute i was consistent and felt well and then my bass drum fell apart i remember that from years ago so it it all kind of came together it was it was work on all on all different sites so to so to speak on the hi hat and on the kick drum to get these 16th note lined up yeah so it was rewarding for me and it's simple enough to make an exercise from it it's 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 fun and it's simple so why not do that so i guess you all grasp the uh, the so i guess you grasp the first bar which is repeated three times obviously only in the third time we have a 16 note added at the very last to be very precise. So it's the one in the kick drum and the end of two, which is the tail, the last 16th of two, and going to three. Boom. Boom, boom. Something like this. Boom. Boom, boom. And the snare drum stays on two and four only problem here could be in the tempo the higher than 16th note 
the third into the fourth bar first and second bar are the same obviously third into the fourth bar that's usually what i what i keep as a loop to to challenge myself to even go higher than 100 why not you know just get some headroom in there in the, in the right or left hand or whichever hand fits your plays your uh subdivisions your hi hat in that case so the third into the fourth bar will be as a loop kind of covering the whole game you know so third into the fourth bar on the on the on the slow tip three and four and So that's basically it. If you can cover this, again, it's the kick on the one, then the two te, last sixteenth of the two, going on three, and then the last sixteenth in this case, in the third bar, last sixteenth of four, the four te, going on to the one in the last bar, in the fourth bar. And the fourth bar is based on one, one and, and then the and and the te of two. One and Two e and a three and four one and two e and a three and four so that's basically all you need to know the 16th note pattern in the hi-hat stops on three and so he goes one two three and da -ga -sh. because then we play four four and on the snare drum and the open hi-hat or sometimes the tom-tom like four e and or four e and on the on the four you know and before that it's it's kind of convenient to end this pattern on three or on three and on the end of three because we have this uh, little drag in there like a a bounced double stroke note on the left hand or on the right hand which whichever you start if you go right left hi-hat like Obviously, you're going to be leading left the drag. Uh, and if you do it the other way around, you're going to start the drag with the right hand. So on the three E and da, that's where the two taps of the drag comes in. So you go one and two and the and. And again. And even slower. Three and four and. And we should hit the rim shot clearly. Again, three and four and. That should be clear enough by now. And the bass drum accompanies that with the, with the pattern in bar number four. So it goes three and four and so that's the whole cadence so to speak the whole groove and i want to yeah challenge you to get it into your system into your muscle memory do it very slow because it's slow you really learn the fastest as we know, your body learns the fastest. And once you have it learned and the mistakes are gone, it's just a matter of time, really, when it's going to be fast. And on the way there, if you're not skipping too many beats per minute, if you, let's say, start at 50 beats per minute and you go right up to 80, then you're skipping 30 beats per minute where you haven't tried out your body playing this cadence. You haven't, you haven't learned these. And it's going to be more precise and more like a fundamental thing for you to play in these, in this context, in this groove. If you go like in steps of two or maybe four beats per minute, I usually go by prime numbers. I like prime numbers, so I jump up the prime number scale. You know, I don't know it by heart, but it should be 51 and then probably 53. And then there should be a gap until not 57, 59 is a prime. 
these kind of steps all, all the way up to 100 and beyond infinity and beyond that's where this should go because it's you know it's fun it's a fun cadence and it gives you a lot of stamina in the in the hands without going to the technical section and going through all the technique which is great but sometimes motivation is more where the fun lies as we all know so that's uh, yeah roughly the verse groove of Georgie Porgy uh, I hope you have fun with this and try to keep the quarter pulse alive as uh, Jeff Pocaro. Hardly anybody could do it like Jeff, I think. There's many people who can do it like Jeff, but either way, try to do it like Jeff. Listen to the original, and for us, it's on to the next one.